the cross. And then, and then it doesn't stop there, folks. That's right. It doesn't stop there. Thank Amen. God, he is risen. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And so um, in order to preach this here message, we're going to have to back up to Friday. Amen. Amen. And then to talk about the beauty of the cross. So then, amen, to get this message across, amen, we're going to start on Friday and then end on resurrection. Amen. Isn't that good? Amen. And then speaking of Friday, what an amazing, amazing, amazing communion service we had here Friday. Amen. Wasn't it amazing? Amen. But then on the beauty of the cross, we will find forgiveness, we will find hope, and we will find life. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Amen. And as they put that hat up there for us, amen. Luke chapter 23, verse 34. Finish this up there. We will read it real quick. It says, Father, forgive them, for they do not know what they are doing. Amen. Hallelujah. Father, forgive them, for they do not not know what they are doing. In, in the last uh, three statements of Jesus on the cross, amen, the beauty of the cross is that we find, number one, grace at the cross. We find grace. Can everybody say grace? grace. Amen. For we are saved by grace. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. So then the beauty of the cross, amen, is that we find grace they're at, the, they're at the cross, amen, amen. <laughs> we find a king who took our place to cleanse us and pardon us of our sins. Huh? Yes, he did. Yes, he did. There is one who has redeemed our soul, amen. We find freedom and we find a true love story at the cross, amen. Amen. So then we find forgiveness, hope, and life on the cross. Amen. amen. So let's say amen. Father, forgive them. Here in his first three words, we see Christ, Christ's forgiving, forgiving nature. It is the will of God for men to be forgiven. Amen. Let me say that again. It is God's will for you to be forgiven. Amen. It is God's will. Amen. That God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Amen. Turn to John 3, 17. But you know what? It doesn't stop there. It doesn't stop there. Amen. You know why? Because he didn't come to uh, condemn the world. Amen. But it's he what? Somebody, somebody, somebody read it real quick. Amen. It is not, it is the will of God for men to be forgiven. Amen. John 3, 17, not he didn't come to uh, condemn them. Amen. Amen. Right. If, if it was us, now think about this here for a second. If it was us, think about you. Okay, think about you. If it was us that was beaten, stripped, naked, cursed, punched, mocked over and over and over again. If that was us. Think about it. Put yourself in that place. If we saw the crowds approving our torture and heard them laughing at our pain, we might have prayed, Father, curse them. Yeah, true. That's true. Come on, humans. Yeah. Put yourself in that place. Could you have done what Jesus did? We might have said, Father, curse them. Father, destroy them. Yeah. Look at what they are doing to me, God. Father, consume them. Father, humiliate them. But Jesus says, Father, forgive 
them. And praise God, his prayer is answered because Jesus dying on the cross was the only way for men to be forgiven. Amen. Second yes. Corinthians. Amen. Second, Second Corinthians. God made him, Jesus, who had no sin, to be sin for us so that in him we might become the righteousness of God. Amen. Jesus was the perfect sacrifice in every way. Yes. He never sinned. Right. He never lied. He never had a sinful thought or desire. He was perfect in every way. And although he was surrounded by all this here wickedness, amen, amen, he still held true. Amen. So then the question is, is why why would the perfect, innocent son of God be forsaken? Huh? What did he do to a man deserve being abandoned? Nothing. Not one thing. Be grateful, church, that this Resurrection Sunday, that Jesus' prayer, Father, forgive them, was answered. Amen. Be thankful, church. Huh? Come on. Come on. Be very thankful. Amen. Hallelujah. In the second part of his statement on the cross, we see our ignorance. What, pastor, are you calling me ignorant? Everybody is, hang everybody is hey, ignorant in some way, shape, or form. Amen. Only on different subjects. Yeah. Ignorant means to be unlearned, uneducated. Huh? Yeah. So then, in the second statement, you know what? Uh, you know what? I'm going to ask Jason Pruitt if he will shut these here fans off. I, we're getting a bunch of feedback. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You know what? I think that I think that if we shut the fan off, we're going to shut everything off so we can't to do that. Hallelujah. Sorry, Jason. Amen. Uh, for for they do not know what they are doing. Those that crucified Christ were ignorant of the most important subject of all time. Hello? It was so powerful that Jesus hung on the cross. Something amazing happened. Amen. Miss yes. Amy says it this way. Wait, something, something happened. Amen. A little bit of something, something. Amen. Yes. Something happened on the cross. Amen. What happened? Amen. What happened? Hallelujah. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. What happened? Amen. We find hope on the cross. Amen. Come on. That's what happened. That was so powerful that it affected one of the two, one of the two criminals. Amen. Who was being put to death beside him. Something happened. Hallelujah. All of a sudden hope happens. Amen. 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 The beauty of the cross is that we all can find hope. Hope at the cross, amen. You just got to believe it, amen. You've got to accept it that Jesus endured the cross for you and I, hallelujah. Amen. We find hope at the cross, and there is hope for you, hallelujah. Amen. No matter what you've done, no matter what you have, amen, grown, no, no matter what you have gone through, there is hope at the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't care what you've done. Jesus says, amen, I came to, t I came to give you life. I came to give it to you more abundantly no matter what you've done. Amen. At the cross, I give you hope. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo. Thank you, God, for that hope. Thank you, Father. Something happened, Miss Sherry. Huh? <laughs> it affected one of the criminals being put to death beside him. And he said, Jesus. See, see, there was two of them there. One of them was so self-centered yes, and only thought of himself. Right. If you're God, get yourself down and get us down. Right. Hello? Yeah. Uh -huh. Let's just step back a little bit. How many times have we said something like that? If you're God, you'll do this for me. If you're God, make this happen. Hello? Ah, uh, but the other one was so 
much humility. And he says, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Remember me when you go into your kingdom. Hallelujah. Something happened, folks. Something happened. Amen. Something happened. And here is where we find hope at the cross. The beauty of the cross is that we find hope at the cross. Luke 23 Verse 43, I assure you today, Jesus says, amen. He, he tells this here criminal, amen. I assure you today, you will be with me. You will be with me. You will be with me, amen. Jesus is telling this here criminal, amen. You will be with me in paradise, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah, something happened. The thief overheard the Lord's petition of forgiveness, for those who were treating him so brutally, this here a thief, amen, has his ears open, amen. What's going on, amen? He was obviously affected by what he heard, amen. I can picture him saying this. If he can forgive those who laughed at him, amen, spit on him, make fun of him, if he can pray for those who kicked him, come on, I can just picture him saying this, amen, if if he can forgive those who punch him, whip him with the cattle nine tails, if he can lobby God's forgiveness on behalf of those that stripped him, hammer nails into his hands and feet, then I know that man can forgive me. Yes. Father, 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 remember me when you go into your kingdom. Something happened. Come on, glory to God. Glory to God. See, there is hope for you. There is hope for us. There is hope for this whole world. Huh? This salvation is for whosoever will. That's a lot of people. Hello? Hello? It is easy to go with the crowd when the crowd says, crucify him. Yeah. The, uh-huh. There are a few. No, no, no. There are less than a few men that will stand up and say, no, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the Messiah, and yeah. Jesus is innocent, huh? Yeah. Come on, church, amen. C- come on, it's time to wake up, amen. Jesus yeah. is coming back soon, and right. what? He is Lord, he is King, and he is our Savior, hallelujah. And guess what, amen? He is alive. This her whole world, amen, wants to put Jesus on a back burner. Amen, amen. I was looking at my phone earlier, and I had to Google something, and this made me sick to my core. Amen. Amen. I had to Google something because I was in the office studying. And as soon as I pulled up Google, Saturday Night Live had this skit. And I don't even know who this person is. Uh, little Ken X or something. Yeah, that one. Doing a lap dance on Jesus. I got sick to my stomach and started crying. That's the type of world that is out there. Wake up, church. Wake up. He's coming back soon. He's coming back soon. Amen. Hallelujah. And he's coming back for those that have made themselves ready. Amen. Amen. Come on. Hallelujah. He's coming back. Amen. Amen. He will not be mocked. Amen. Let me tell you something. He will not be mocked. Amen. Amen. Hey, amen. They mocked him that day. And guess what? Amen. He still came out of the tomb alive. Hallelujah. He came out of that tomb. Hallelujah. Woo! Come on. Let's put guards around him in case his, in case his uh, disciples wants to come and steal him. Hallelujah. Oh, let me tell you something. They didn't have to steal him. Hallelujah. Because he came out of that tomb alive and a well. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. He is risen. That ought to make you shout. Hallelujah. That ought to make you holler. Amen. Woo. He did that for you and I. And yet. And yet the world and the church, I might as well say the church, wants to play games with them. Ooh, it's truth. 
But my scripture says, those that are called by my name. Hello? Shall humble themselves. Come on, church. Come on. We ain't playing games. If you are God's people, we will humble ourselves. And pray. Seek his face. Come on, there, there's, there is no more plan. And turn from our wicked ways. Then he will hear from heaven. Yes. Huh? Right. And he will forgive them of their sins and heal their land. Amen. But the problem is, is that the church wants to play church. The world don't want nothing to do with church. I just heard something here recently, back in the 30s, 40s, and 50s, even in the 60s, about 75 to 80 percent of the, the population claimed to be some type of Christian. Now that's only 47 yep. percent. There is a decline. But I'm telling you something. He's still God. He's still God today as he was then. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Jesus. Jesus is Lord. He is king. And guess what? He is my Lord and my Savior. How many of us are willing to amen say that? Come on. <laughs> And this thief witnessed the priest rebuke him. The crowd shout at him. Amen. The, the other thief mocked him. His own disciples deserted him. In spite of it all, he dared to ask a stripped, bloody, un, and unrecognizable Jesus not to save him. No, 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 no. That would be asking too much. But just to remember him. Whoo. How powerful is that? Hallelujah. So we find forgiveness and we find hope at the cross. This poor man just asked to be remembered in a heavenly kingdom. What humility. Amen. What is something I always say here? Here, amen. To be a child of God, we must what? Stay humble. Humble, humble, humble. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Can we say thank, thank you, God. Jesus? Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord, Father. For he knows if you're going through the motion. Huh? Yeah. He knows if you're giving him lip service. Yes. He knows when you try to hide things from him. How do you hide things from an all-knowing God, an and all-present God? How do you hide things from him? Can't. You can't. He looks at the heart. Jesus. He knows when you're just going through a hard time. Huh? He knows. He knows that sometimes it, it takes a lot to muster up a hand. He knows that. But what about your heart? During those times, if you take, take the time and the energy to muster up a praise, hallelujah, even though you're going through a rough time, all of a sudden you get some joy, and then all of a sudden you get some strength because the joy of the Lord is your strength, and then all of a sudden you've got this hand in the air, all of a sudden, you got this hand in the air. All of a sudden, you are surrendering to the Almighty. And then all of a sudden, you feel peace. All of a sudden, you feel energy. All of a sudden, amen, you feel his love and his grace. And you feel his hope. And then all of a sudden, you've got energy, amen, to walk out these doors, amen, praising the Almighty God. Amen. All of a sudden, amen, everything that's a problem is no longer a problem. You still may have to, to face a furnace. Oh, but God is there in the furnace with you. Amen. Glory. Hallelujah. 
Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. And then if he could promise paradise to such a wicked criminal, then praise God, I know there is hope for me and there is hope for you. Yes, you. Amen. And then one last thing to say from the cross, and that's we find life. We find life at the cross. Luke chapter 23, verse 46 says this, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. After he had said these words, he breathed his last breath. Jesus prays his last prayer. How great, is, how great it is when our last words are the words of prayer. And we now see Jesus praying to the Father. And what did he say? Into your hands I commit my spirit. Jesus commits his spirit and leaves the greatest legacy ever. Right. Now listen to this. As Jesus surrendered, we must surrender to him. Amen. Amen. I surrender, Lord. I surrender, Lord. Because he is the only way to the Father. That is in John chapter 14, verse 6. Let me tell you something, church. We have a choice. Listen to me, and listen to me very, very, very carefully. You have a choice. We can carry the world on our shoulders. Are you hearing what I'm saying? We have a choice. We can carry the world on our shoulders, or we can say, I give up. Lord, here's my life. I give you my world. Amen. The whole world. Come on. Amen. Amen. Come on. Are you tired of being sick and tired? Yeah. Are you tired of fighting? You have a choice. You have a choice. Have you put your life more importantly, your life beyond this life? Amen. In God's hands. Please don't wait till it's too late. If I can have Chase or or Jamie, is Jamie up here? If I can have you, you come on up. Please don't wait till it is too late. Have you put your life? The Bible says now is the day of salvation. Now is the accepted time. After enduring the cross for the joy that was set, before him, you see, Jesus surrendered all. He forfeited his spirit to God, knowing that it is finished. Jesus gives up. He surrendered all. Hello? Huh? We said all that to get to this point, folks. Amen. It is finished. So there you have it. Jesus is dead. It is finished. For the disciples, it must have, must have been the most devastating moment of their lives. Not only did they lose their friend, their teacher, their Lord, they lost their hope. It's finished. Now what? What now? Satan thought he won. He's starting to throw a party. He's starting to smile just a little bit. What now, Gene? They lost their hope. He told us he was the Messiah. Now he is dead. What now? Thank God the story does not stop there. Amen. 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 The story does not stop there. Amen. Mark 9 says this. The son, and the son of man is going to be betrayed into the hands of men. They will kill him. And after three days, he will rise. The story doesn't stop there. Amen. Amen. Paul Harvey says, now for the rest of the story. Hallelujah. Let's talk about 
about for the rest of the story. Amen. Hallelujah. They will kill him, and after three days, he will rise. Amen. Hallelujah. Woo! Glory. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 24. Amen. 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 Women. It says that the women took spices that they had prepared, and when they approached the tomb, amen, the stone enclosing the tomb was rolled away, but they didn't find a body there. No, 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 no. Instead, they saw two angels, amen, amen, Then who then said, why do you look for the he living among the dead. He is not here. He is not here. He is not here. Folks, you don't see no Jesus on the cross here, right? He is not there. He is risen. He is alive. Hallelujah. And there is, amen, there is, amen, forgiveness. There is hope. And there is life at the cross. Amen. You've got to believe it. Come on, stand to your feet. Amen. You've got to believe it. Woo! Hey, hallelujah. Why do you look for the, the living among the dead? He is not here. He is risen. Woo! There it is, folks. There's the beauty of the cross. The beauty of the cross. He is the way. He is the truth. Hallelujah. And he is the life. Not just a life, but he is the life. We gotta stop fitting him into our life and make him our life, amen. Hallelujah. And if you want a new life, new hope, new peace, new joy, I feel in my spirit to say this. If you want this, if you want new life, new hope, new peace, new joy. Listen up, somebody. Listen up. Then you've got to stop beating yourself up. Come on. You've got to stop beating yourself up. Jesus already, amen, he already died for you. He has already forgiven you. Stop beating yourself up and then accept him. Accept him to work in your life, amen. Amen, surrender to him and let him give you new life. Let him give you peace. You know what? He's the Prince of Peace. There's no reason you shouldn't have peace in your life. Do you believe the word for, or do you believe the word for what it says? He is the wonderful counselor. Do you, need, do you need counseling? Go to the wonderful counselor. Huh? Do you need to talk to your daddy? Go to the everlasting father. Go to the mighty God. Jesus. If you want a new life, New hope, new peace, new joy. Stop on your knees and surrender. Believe in Jesus and pray that he comes into your life today. Folks, Jesus, happy resurrection day. Hallelujah. Oh, glory to God. We are here because he is alive and he is risen. Hallelujah. Amen, folks. Amen. Amen. Walk out of here knowing, knowing, amen, that this isn't about just Easter eggs. Yes, yes, yes. We're going to have an egg hunt afterwards. But it isn't about that. It is about because he is risen and he is alive and he did it for you and me. Amen. relationship with you. That's the key right there. A relationship 
with you.